Welcome back. Uh, this session, we are just going to show you how to do the basic uh, configuration on these routers, how to set the passwords, not only set the passwords, how to encrypt them so that no one can read it. That's what encryption means. So we'll look at it uh, both ways without encryption first and then after that we'll uh, encrypt them. So let's do a basic uh, password set first. So if you notice that when we exit here, let's see we exit here, right? And when we hit enter now on the keyboard, it's taking me to this user mode, right? This is user mode. And right now it's not asking me for any password. So if I put enable here, I am in the privilege mode. Notice that user mode, you can see the greater than sign. Privilege mode, you can see the hash sign. Now I am here in the privilege mode. Now if I want to go to global configuration mode, I can type in configuration terminal or T for short and I am in global configuration and you can read it here config that's when you know you are in the global configuration if you are if you have just router or whatever the name and then a hash sign next to it then you are in privilege mode here like this okay if you are if you have just a greater sign next to the name then you are in user mode okay so now let's change all this let's ask the system uh, uh, ask for the password right so that's what's our that's what our motive is so let's do the console password first console password meaning when we try to uh, enter the user mode in the beginning it should ask for the password so when we let's say there is a new router brand new router and there's nothing configured right so in order to uh, do the initial configuration we will need to console into that router from a pc so we use the console cable and uh, we connect it and we have to do the initial configuration like that so if anyone just connected uh, they can enter the uh, routing uh, inside the router but to set the password we need to uh, first say line console 0 so that's the first uh, command line console 0 and then hit enter and then give the password should be complex uh, should not be just easy password so for this you know video I ju i'm just gonna say india inside okay india inside now you think you would think you have the password you're all set but you are missing a very important step here and that is to put login if you don't put this you don't put this it will not it will not ask for the password so let's try that without doing it so I'm not going to put login right now so I'm just going to exit 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 right now if I hit enter uh, it's not going to ask me for the password since I did not say login see it's taking me to the user mode so that's when we have to say login next to the password uh, not login configure terminal so line console go back to line console 0 you don't have to put a password again because you already set the password just say login that's all we have to do login and exit now exit now exit again now if I press enter it's, it will it will ask me for a password and here it is and we, we say India inside both eyes are capital 
now we are in the privilege mode now from here to go to the configuration term, uh, uh, configuration terminal uh, it should again uh, uh, actually uh, let me take that back to get to the privilege mode there should be a password again right so that is a when we say enable right when we say enable it takes us to the privilege mode from user mode so there also there should be a password set so that's what we are going to do next so let's go to enable configure terminal so right now it's not asking me for any password so we are going to set that for that let's uh, let's do it uh, show run command whenever you are in configuration mode you have to give do in front uh, to take the command otherwise it, it will say invalid uh, so let's see if the line console zero password is there it should be there because we tested it uh, and here it is here you can see line console zero password in the inside login but if you notice uh, it's not encrypted right we can read this so this needs to be encrypted which we will going to do in just a few seconds uh, before that let's do now uh, enable uh, password enable password and do India inside but the problem with this is again it will not be encrypted right uh, there are two ways actually you can do this but the preferred method the preferred method is instead of en enable password you can just say enable secret this way it will be encrypted and we are going to I'm just going to show you after this enable secret India inside and for this you don't have to say login this this much is enough okay so do show run think it's a uh, top here we go you can see the password is encrypted this is India inside actually but notice that how it's showing us so this is how you would do uh, enable secret password the other way would be to not to say enable secret just put enable password like this enable password and put the password in and after we put set all the password we can give the command service password encryption this will encrypt all the passwords even though we didn't do enable secret this will encrypt all the passwords so anyway you are going to do this so uh, I might also say if you, even if you don't say enable secret this will encrypt anyway uh, all the passwords so you can either do enable password or go ahead and do enable secret whatever you want to do it's fine uh, but let's see now now if you do this before that actually before that let's test the enable if it's working or not so enable secret so exit out of everything okay user mode this is a user mode we tested this just a moments back um, inside okay now if i press enable and press enter it should ask me for password it is so it's working fine so again oops something is wrong india inside okay i am forgetting the password what did i give india inside maybe i didn't India inside okay so I didn't give the second uh, I capital capitalized so that's why so now we are in the privilege mode now we can just go to configuration terminal uh, again do a show run you can see the enable secret is already encrypted because we give enable secret like that but the other ones will not be because uh, we didn't 
we didn't give the service password encryption and all that yet so uh, let's see to show run here we go it's still not encrypted right india inside is still not encrypted so we're going to do this we're going to simply say service password encryption this will do the job now let's go back to show run and that line console will be encrypted this time here we go you can see line console zero this was india inside before and now we have this so this is how you would encrypt passwords and another thing i can show you is how to set the banner so that for that you, you just say banner m o t d and then put the hash sign and then give the message uh, whatever you want to say like uh, authorized users only something like that you can give and then uh, end with the hash sign also okay start with hash sign end with hash sign and to be fine and if we do show run again we can see the the banner message where is it is it should be right here you can see the banner message now there is something called line vty i would like to show you and that is for telnet access we we saw the line um, console zero here uh, that is for the console access now uh, line auxiliary you can also uh, we can do line aux zero we can set that password as well let's see line auxiliary zero password india inside login so what this uh, line auxiliary zero is pretty much uh, a remote access to the device if you want to remote access and do some configuration uh, then someone has to uh, log in via auxiliary, auxiliary line and therefore we have to set a pass password here so that it would ask for a password and uh, if you do say to show run earlier it was in set now you can see the password will be there here we go and that is also encrypted because we have already given the service password encryption command now there is something called line vty 0 to 10 0 to 4 something like that but that is for telnet access we can quickly see line vty 0 to 4 password india inside login okay so to test this first of all let's see a do show run this is a telnet access to the router this is not a secured way to access the router password is encrypted uh, but the data is not so to test this let's go to this pc here and there is a telnet option we can see here in packet tracer uh, telnet slash ssh client click there and then the give the IP address this one we have uh, one 2.100 so this would be telnet not SSH telnet 
192.168.2.100 this is the router we configured so it should ask for a password now now we have to give the password here India inside now we can access the access this router from a remote location so that's what this uh, line VTY024 means so hope this much helps uh, but this is not the preferred method this is again the data is not encrypted so there's something called SSH we'll look at it later uh, it is much more secured than uh, VT uh, telnet so people actually uh, don't use this telnet uh, people uh, use SSH uh, more often these days because of the security concern with uh, telnet so hope this one helps we'll see something else in the next video thank you